Welcome to the discussion video on accounting for partnership operations. So at the end of the discussion, we will able to state the items that affect the division of a partnership's profits or losses among partners and we will compete for the share of a partner in the partnership's profit or loss. So let us first identify how do we divide the profits and losses under uh, accounting for partnership. So there are steps or rules that we, uh, we should consider in identifying the rules on profits and losses distribution or division. One is yung partnership agreement. So kung magkano ang naka-indicate kung papaanong hahatiin ang partnership profit or loss, it will be uh, observed in the computation. So it should be in accordance with the partnership agreement. It can be equal, it can be 60-40, it can be 70-30. So it will depend on the partnership agreement stipulated in the contract. However, papaano kapag walang partnership agreement related to the division of the profits and losses? Article 1797 of the Civil Codes provide of the Civil Code provides the following additional rules. 1. If only the share of each partner in the profits has been agreed upon, the share of each in the losses shall be in the same proportion. So kung naka-indicate lang ay yung profit sharing agreement, it follows na yung loss sharing agreement will be of the same proportion. Next, in the absence of stipulation, the share of each partner in the profits and loss shall be in proportion to what he may have contributed. So kung walang uh, naka-indicate kung magkano ang profit and loss sharing agreement, it should be uh, inter interpreted as in proportion to what have been contributed. So kung magkano yung kinontribute nila, doon ang basis mo ng profit and loss sharing. However, sabi, but the industrial partner shall not be liable for losses. Since uh, the industrial partner is contributing the, uh, his industry, his expertise, it shall, shall, it shall, uh, he shall not be liable for the incurrence of a loss. As for the profits, the industrial partner shall receive such share as may be just and equitable under the circumstances. So it will depend on the circumstance. Normally, sa accounting naman, yung problems related dyan, naka-identify naka na kung magkano ang uh, amount na marireceive ng industrial partner. If besides the services, he has contributed capital, he shall also receive a share in the profits in proportion to the capital. So, ang tinutukoy dyan ay yung industrial partner. Okay. The designation of losses and profits cannot be entrusted to one of the partners. Okay. Uh, the reason kung baakit hindi pwedeng naka-entrust lang sa iisang partners yung decision on the profit and loss agreements is because uh, of the conflict of interest. Pwedeng taasan niya yung kanyang profit uh, portion and uh, it will be at a disadvantage to the other partners. Okay, there are allowed stipulations in the division of the profits and loss, yung salaries, bonuses, and interest. So, ito normally ang mga items na kinocompute natin when we account for the partnership operation. Salaries, these are, normally, an industrial partner receives salary in addition to the share in the partnership profits as compensation for the services to the partnership. So, yung sweldo sa kanya. Bonuses, the managing partner may be entitled to a bonus for excellent management performance. Unlike for salaries, a partner is entitled to a bonus only if the partnership earns profits. So, please take note of that. You can only allow bonus if the partnership earns profit. Interest on capital contributions, the partnership may stipulate the capitalist partners are entitled to an annual interest on their capital contributions. So a certain percentage, pwedeng 2% of the capital contribution, 20% uh, of the capital contribution, pwedeng weighted average capital contribution, pwedeng beginning capital pwedeng ending capital. So, it will depend on the stipulation. So, ang sinasabi lang dito, it is allowed. Yung stipulations related to salaries, bonuses, and interest on capital contributions are allowed stipulations in a partnership agreement. 
The items above are normally provided first to the respective partners and any remaining of the profit or loss is shared among the partners based on their stipulated profit or loss ratio. So normally, inuuna yung salaries, bonuses, and interest on capital before mag-distribute ng profit sa mga partners. Okay, let us look at illustration related to salaries. A and B's partnership agreements provides for annual salary allowances of 50,000 for A and 30,000 for B. The salary allowances are to be withdrawn throughout the period and are to be debited to the partner's respective drawing accounts. So let us look at this case in point. Case 1 is with remaining profit and different PL, profit and loss sharing ratios. So ang sinasabi dito, yung case na to, kahit na may salary, may natira pa rin profit. Pero magkaiba ang profit and loss ratios daw. The partners share profits equally and losses on a 60-40 ratio. Ibig sabihin, kung profit ang uh, nag-generate ng profit yung company, equal ang distribution. Pero kung loss, 60-40 ang distribution ng loss. The partnership earned profit of 100,000 before salary allowances. The requirement is to compute for the respective shares of the partners in the profit and to provide the journal entry. So, let us first analyze. Ang kukumpitin natin ay yung share nila sa profit and loss. loss. Magkano ang profit? 100,000 before salary allowances. Eh, magkano ba ang salary? 54 A and 34. 30,000 for B. So, let us take a look at the solution. Requirement A for the solution. Okay, ito yung amount na i-allocate natin, 100,000. Sabi, unahin daw yung salaries, bonus, and interest. Wala naman siyang bonus, wala siyang interest dahil nandito pa lang tayo sa salaries. So, ang salary for A is 50,000, for B is 30,000. So, 80,000 ang total salaries. 100,000 minus 80,000, the remaining profit is 20,000. Ang sabi kanina, kapag profit, it should be shared equally. So, 20,000 divided by 2 is 10,000. So, kapag inallocate na natin yan, the share of A in the uh, partnership profit is 60,000 and B, 40,000. 50 plus 10, 60. 30 plus 10, 40. Let us look at the notes. Salaries are provided first and, and the remaining amount is allocated based on the profit sharing ratio which is 50-50. Okay. The sum of the amounts allocated to the partners is equal to the amount being allocated. So, 60K plus 40K is 100K. Okay. Kung magkano yung uh, marireceive daw nila is yung total profit na i-allocate. That is uh, first. Uh, so, ini-establish pa lang natin yung items. Yung salaries, bonus, and interest. So, let us look at requirement B, yung journal entries natin related dyan. So, tingnan natin itong solution. The allocations for the salaries 50-30, remaining profit 10-10, and, and, and ang total allocation 60-40. So, how do we journalize the transactions? To record the withdrawal of the salary allowances, it is uh, recorded as a drawing. Uh, uh, kumbaga, is a, it is a temporary um Yung temporary drawings account ang gagamitin natin. So, this is monthly. Dahil monthly ang salary, the recognition is debit A drawings, 50,000, debit B drawings, 30,000, and then credit cash, 80,000 at the point of view of the partnership. Next, to record the distribution of the profit. Yung profit na tinutukoy dyan is yung total na, itong 60 and 40,000. So, you debit income summary. This is a year-end entry. Dahil uh, yearly, ginagawa itong entry related to the distribution of the profit. Income summary, 100,000. Credit A capital, 60,000. So, dinagdagan mo ang capital ni A. And then, credit B capital, 40,000. So, nagdagan ng capital ni A at ni B sa partnership ng 60 and 40,000. Next, to close the drawings account. Diba, itong drawings account, these are temporary accounts, contra account to the capital. So, pa, paano gagawin natin dyan? So, I I the year-end entry to close the drawings account is to debit A capital, 50,000, debit B capital, 30,000, then credit A drawings, 50,000, credit B drawings, 30,000. So, in-eliminate natin, binawas natin yung drawings doon sa capital ni 
A and B respectively. Okay, let us take a look with illustration. Uh, I think illustration 1, case number 2. So same, same problem but uh, the case is there is no remaining profit and there is different PL ratios. The partner share profits equally pa rin kapag profit the same or 50-50. Pag losses, 60-40. The partnership earned profit of 70,000 before salary allowances. So, ito na yung sinasabing no remaining profit. Ang profit lang ay 70,000 pero ang pasweldo sa kanila, ang total na ay 50 plus 30 ay 80,000. So, wala nang profit dyan. So, paano ang treatment dyan? The requirement is to compute for the respective shares of the partners in the profit. Okay, let's take a look with the case 2 solutions. So, ang amount na i-allocate natin, the partnership profit is 70,000, the salaries is 80,000. However, um, mas malaki yung salaries kaysa doon sa profits. Paano ang gagawin dyan? You will treat the deficiency as a loss. So, ibig sabihin, uh, guaranteed yung salaries. Kailangan bayaran mo yung salaries kahit na pa mas kaunti ang profit kesa doon sa total salaries mo. So, the remaining loss is 10,000. That is 70 minus 80,000. Ang sabi, di ba ang sabi, kapag profit, pag loss, ang, yung re, ang loss sharing ratio ay 60-40. So, since since merong loss, treated as a loss yan, yung 70 minus 80, 10,000 times 60% is 6,000, that is the share of A, and 10,000 times 40%, that 4,000, that is the share of B. So, when we allocate 50,000 minus 60,000, 6,000 is 44,000. For B, 30,000 minus 4,000 is 26,000. So, 44 plus 26 is 70,000. So, total pa rin yan. Let us look at the note. After the salaries are provided, the remaining amount is negative. That is the loss. Thus, it is allocated based on the stipulated loss ratio of 60-40. Okay. So, yaan ang pag-compute even, uh, even the presence of a deficiency uh, arising from a lower profit compared to the total salaries. So, ganun ang treatment. Okay, let's take a look at illustration 1. Same, salaries pa rin tayo. However, case number 3, there is no profit and loss sharing ratio. According dun sa previous discussion natin, kapag no profit and loss sharing ratio, magbe-base tayo sa contributions ng partners. So, let us take a look. The partnership agreement does not state how profits and losses are to be divided. Dahil alam mo na kapag walang... PL ratio agreements based ka sa contribution so hindi ka masyadong mangangamba dyan. A contributed 10,000 while B contributed 20,000. Okay. So 1 over 3 yan for A and then 2 over 3 for B. The partnership earned profit 95,000 before salary allowances. Let us compute now for the respective shares in the partner's profit. Okay, case 3 solutions. The amount na i-allocate natin is 95,000. Salaries 50 for A, 30 for B, so 80,000 pa rin yan. So, 95 minus 80, may 15,000 na remaining profit. Ang sabi, walang profit and loss sharing ratio, so it would uh, be based on the contribution. So, 1 over 3 for A and 2 over 3 for B. So, 15,000 times 1 over 3 is 5,000. 15,000 times 2 over 3, 10,000. So, as allocated, 50 plus 5 is 55,000 for A. For B, 30 plus 10 is 40,000. So, the total is 95,000. Okay, so I think uh, I will be ending this discussion for for the illustration on salaries. Uh, please proceed on the next part of the discussion for the illustration of the bonus. Thank you.